hi dear students this is lakshman sharma okay in a last class we have seen the permets principle and the laws of permets principle what is the permets principle so permets principle is nothing but light travels between two points along the path that requires the least time as compared to the nearby paths it means suppose this is a point a and this is a point b okay if the light wants to travel then it has a number of the paths okay it may travel in this path it may travel in this path otherwise it may travel in this path okay but what it does the light is always follow that path which is required least time to reach the target so this is the least this is the path which is going to be get a very least time to travel from a to b okay this is nothing but the permets principle okay from the permets principle we have we can derive two laws one is a the law of reflection that is nothing but angle of i is equals to angle of r and another one is that is the law of reflection uh, sorry refraction that is nothing but the sin i by sin r is equals to constant otherwise is it is a mu so now what will go what will see here we are going to derive the law of reflection by using the permets principle so now here to derive the this law of refraction by using the permets principle we have to consider we have to consider the plane mirror this is a plane mirror and here this is the incident point and this is a reflected point so therefore what happens here the ray is incident here and then reflected back so now say that that incident ray is incident on the plane mirror at that point will draw the one normal so the total path of the that ray will consider this is the distance d and now the height of the incident ray from the mirror that is a will take and then height of the reflected ray from the mirror that is i will take it is a b for the sake of that derivation so the what is the path of that incident ray that is x will take and then the path of reflected ray from the that incident point i will take this is a o oh, sorry p, i will take p here p and then this is a and b so now this distance is nothing but the d minus x will take d minus x so and now this is the graphical representation of this ray diagram let us see here now i have given here the graphical representation of the ray diagram already i have shown you how to draw the that ray, ray diagram see here now this is the incident ray incident ray is a creates an angle theta with the that normal and then the, this is the reflected ray it is also creates an theta with the that normal and then to so consider the light ray is shown in the figure and a ray of light starting at a point a reflects from the surface at the point p before arriving at point b a horizontal distance is nothing but the d from point of a so now here what we have to calculate here we have to calculate the total path or a path path length is equals to what is the path length here now this is the path length from a to p p to b 
So path length is nothing but A P plus P B. A P plus P B. So here path length we have to indicate it with the L equals to L equals to A P plus P B. Now so here what is the AP? AP is nothing but the right angle. So you see here from the mirror we will see this is the right angle triangle. So therefore apply the right angle triangle formula that is AP is nothing but the AP is nothing but AP is equals to AP is equals to we will get this path is nothing but I know the this path this path is from from this point to this point that is a x and then from the this point to this a point that is a, a so therefore we have to calculate the diagonal of the that right angle triangle so here now ap is nothing but under root of a square plus x square under root of a square plus x square so similarly what is the pb what is the pb here that is how to write d minus x whole square plus that is b square okay this is the ap and bp so therefore the path length is therefore the path length is l equals to l equals to under root of a square plus x square plus under root of d minus x whole square plus b square so this is the path length so what is the principle of that permits it means that is nothing but the dl divided by dx is equals to 0 always so it means we have to make the path is short all right we have to make the path length is a shorter so to make that path length becomes shorter that is the equation becomes dl divided by dx equals to 0. So now we have to differentiate this above equation, path length equation. So if you differentiate it, dl divided by dx, then what you will get? You will get that is differentiation of this root of x or at root of a square plus x square that is 2x divided by 2x divided by 2 root of a square plus x square. Okay, we know that formula. Hmm. What is the formula of that uh, root of x, differentiation of root of x? That is nothing but the 1 by 2 root of x. Okay. And then next plus. Plus what you will get here? 2, sorry. 1 divided by 1 divided by 1 divided by 2 under root of 2 under root of d minus x whole square plus b into okay inside differentiation what you will get here d divided by dx whole bracket d minus x whole square whole square now differentiate again this point which one this one hmm? so if you differentiate it then what you will get you will get that is dl divided by dx equals to dl divided by dx is equals to so here now 2 to get cancel hmm? 2 to get cancel and next what will get here will get x divided by under root of a square plus x square a square plus x square plus what will get here that is differentiation 2 d minus x and then again differentiation of this minus x what will get you will get minus 1 divided by 2 under root of d minus x whole square plus b square here also square is b square so here also what you will get 2 to get cancelled hmm? then the final equation becomes final equation becomes that is dl divided by dx equals to dl divided by dx is equals to x divided by root of a square plus x square plus or sorry my uh, here minus is there now so we'll make it is minus minus d minus x 
डिवाइडेड बाय रूट ऑफ डी माइनस एक्स होल स्क्वेयर प्लस बी स्क्वेयर ओके दिस इज द इक्वेशन नाउ हियर देन व्हाट विल डू हियर वी नो दैट दिस फॉर्मूला डी एल डिवाइडेड बाय डी एक्स इज जीरो dl divided by dx is zero. So the, therefore, now if you put the zero, then what will get? You will get. I will write the direct equation. That is, x upon x upon root of a square plus x square. Okay, minus is there. Then I will take this term left side. Then what will get? X equals to d minus x upon under root of Under root of d minus x whole square plus b square. Okay, this is the equation we will get. Okay, now we'll see. Okay, now let us find the sine theta here. Okay, and then what to do here? We have to join this path to the normal, and then here also we'll join the path to the normal. And then this is the perpendicular to the that this angle. This angle. This is also perpendicular to the this angle. So therefore, now what happens here? The sine theta is becomes here now. The sine theta. See here for the theta, this is the opposite. This path is opposite, and then for this theta, this path is a opposite. So therefore, now we'll find the sine theta one here. What is sine theta one here? Sine theta is the opposite divided by hypotenuse. So which is the opposite now for this theta? This is the opposite. What is the path of the that opposite? That is the x. X divided by x divided by and then what is this hypotenuse hypotenuse we have find it here that is root of a square plus x square under root of a square plus x square so this is a sin theta 1 and then now find the sin theta 2 so here sin theta 2 is sin theta 2 is equals to so sin theta 2 is nothing but the This distance from the normal to the b that is nothing but the d minus x divided by d minus x divided by under root of so this hypotenuse is under root of d minus e x whole square plus b square. Okay, and then compare this values, this values, these values. Compare these values. Compare these values to the we have find the value of this equation. Okay, now see here x x divided by under root of a square plus x square is nothing but the sine theta one. Okay, we'll write here sine theta one equals to this is this equation. This term is nothing but the sine theta two. Sorry, sine theta two. So therefore, theta one is nothing but the now we'll get here theta one is equals to theta two. So theta one is nothing but the incident angle. So theta one is nothing but the incident angle. So therefore now equation becomes angle of incidence is equal to theta two is nothing but the refracted sorry reflected angle. So that is angle of reflection. So the equation is nothing but the angle of incident equals to angle of reflection. So therefore We have proved here by using the law of reflection. By sorry, by using the Fermat's principle, that is the law of reflection. Okay, thank you. Okay, sorry, we didn't got the that equations in the video. That's why now I am giving here that is sine theta one equals to sine theta two, and then theta one is equals to theta two here. Sine theta one is nothing but the incident angle, and sine theta two is nothing but the Reflected angle. So therefore, the theta one and theta two. Theta one is a incident angle, and theta two is a reflected angle. So, angle of I is equal to angle of R. So thank you now.